We're Silas and Andrea, and we invite you to join us with a couple of friends and Leroy the Wonder Dog for a snowshoeing adventure into Oregon's backcountry. A remote wood shack was our final destination. It was comfortable enough depending on who you ask. Subscribe to our channel and come along for the adventure. Hello from somewhere in Oregon. We're like in the Fremont Wynema area in the deep back country. Our friend Jesse got the permit and invited us along on this 10 mile trek through the snow up to a fire lookout. The trip was almost canceled. A little snowstorm blew in the day before we left town and it was supposed to be like a horrendous storm all week long. And then uh, the weather forecast changed and it, so the worst of the storm has passed us, fingers crossed, we hope. The gnarliest part getting here was getting over the Willamette Pass. There was just tons of snow, lots of cars that had spun out and just stranded on the side of the highway. Um, we ended up having to help rescue a couple that had uh, spun out, done a 180. Um, we're stuck in the snow, but we had some traction things for under the tires and some shovels and chain and thankfully uh, we were able to get them out kept driving in it was real slow going 30 miles per hour through the snow and we finally arrived at summer lake hot springs where jesse and her mom were staying they had a cabin the sweet little sunrise cabin and um they had a nice evening soak it was it felt good we were planning on doing a morning soak but we got to bed kind of late and we wanted to get out here and start hiking pretty early none of us have been here we don't exactly know the way but we're excited to be on this adventure winter adventure this is like our second winter adventure with jesse we did mount hager several years ago that was super fun we'll see how far we get and we'll bring you along andrea's breaking trail is getting deep. Sinking down maybe six or seven inches with every step. So I've been uh, using this Garmin GPS map and it has just been indispensable for this trip. It has led us on our trip telling us exactly where we are it gave me security knowing that we had a map to follow home if the conditions got bad it's really user friendly i didn't read the instructions at all um turned it on it's not even mine it's uh jill's and started playing with the menus and i figured out how to set waypoints track where we're going um, if we needed to we could send out an sos which is probably could be the most valuable aspect of this one one activation of this sos will essentially call in emergency helicopter. I think it's indispensable for a backcountry trip like this where you have questionable conditions, possible whiteout scenarios, and just all around unknown terrain. Garmin for the win. Step by step, we're getting there. We're trudging through, it's getting deeper. Let's see how far we get here. It's gonna be pretty tiring. Starting to get a second wind. It's completely beautiful, the weather's perfect. Not too cold, not really blowing. No rain or snow at this point. Here's the blue diamond, letting us know we're on the right track. You're doing great, Jill. That's what I need to hear. You're doing awesome. <laughs> oh, I kind of ventured off into this cool poplar forest. Most of it, most of it's all been pine out here. But just breathtaking scenery, and the air is so fresh. A little energy burst. Mm -hmm. Can I have one? Yeah, Some? absolutely. You have two. Two? No, I'm just kidding. What flavor are they? Some pear, tangerine, Little jelly lemon. bellies. <laughs> Woo! We're still trudging through the deep, wet snow, creating ice balls in the bottoms of our snowshoes. Make each one about 10 pounds. Kick your butt. But we're cruising. I think we're gonna wind up camping out probably in the snow. We got quite a ways to go. We're hoping we don't need to pitch our tents in the snow, but that might be our worst case scenario. 
Okay, we're all feeling it here. Asses are pretty much kicked, but we're keeping moving because we know that shelter is really close at this point. What, the cabin? The shelter. It better be. No, the cabin's <laughs> not, but. <sighs> we're struggling. It's not easy. Everyone's hip flexors are like <laughs> screaming at them right now. Leroy's probably doing the best of all Yeah, of Leroy looks pretty <laughs> chill, really. He's kind of, I'm ready for dinner. How about you? Oh, me too. Like something with pasta and meat. <laughs> Please. Something freeze dried with pasta and meat. Okay, here we go. All right. She's just excited because we found the shelter. just about to like hit a major wall I was feeling it yeah the wall was approaching oh my gosh thank you let's just get in and start a fire okay. oh my god what a great sight I'm excited to take my pack off and get that fire going and hang out by it I'm excited for dinner We made it! <laughs> I, I think all of us are just so elated right now. And we are really stoked to get a fire going, get some hot water boiling and some dinner cooking and just totally relax. Oh my gosh, get these packs off, get these snowshoes off. Good job, team. Good job. That was a freaking trudge. Pretty rough. Death march, kind of. Nice job, Silas, with the heavy ass, uh, <laughs> heavy ass snowshoes. Oh. <laughs> You got there yeah right, like, we got um tray gourmet chicken noodle casserole mm. i can't really take on any credit for it <laughs> other than buying it but um actually i think i have some kale we can put on oh we got like dried kale cool Ooh, that's yeah, good light let's do some kale it tastes pretty dang good sure not overly salty the noodles really look like noodles. Well, we're making do here. We got ourselves a cozy little nest we're putting together. Yeah, cozy so long as you don't look at the mouse poop everywhere. <laughs> Turn off the lights, you. Okay? Yeah, don't think yeah. about it. Don't yeah. don't look around too much. It's almost better than a funky hotel to me. I'd almost rather have mouse turds than like questionable human things. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, you want to say goodnight to all our friends and fans? Good night. <laughs> yeah. Sweet dreams. We'll see you in the morning. Cheers. Say good morning first okay. and how the night went. <laughs> well, maybe or how about Jesse? Let's let Jesse <laughs> tell us how the night went. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> well, I have a hole in my sleeping pad, so here we are. We've got some gravel. We had a little down vest going on the tailbone, and then just like a nice little pillow here, <laughs> extra clothes. So I slept for about an hour and a half. <laughs> And how about you, Sai? How'd you sleep? Well, I slept. I slept better. <laughs> I actually slept okay because I did not see the light come. I did not see it getting light, and we. It's like eight o'clock. So I slept in. Yeah, we went to bed at like six. So. <laughs> we got a full. We got a full. Eight hours. Of sleep. <laughs> That's what it was for me. Being horizontal. That's all that mattered. <laughs> All right, well, coffee, coffee, breakfast, let's do it. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. We're just having coffee here in the hut and enjoying the warm fire, making plans for the day. Plans have changed. <laughs> uh, the initial plan was to go another five miles 
um, up to a lookout cabin. But given the conditions of the snow, um, it's just, it'll be kind of pushing it. It's kind of wet, heavy snow that's just creating ice balls on the snowshoes. It's not that great, and it's getting wetter and wetter, so we're thinking of making plan B, thinking about some hot springs. Yeah, we're feeling hot springs. I think everyone's a little feeling it in their body somewhere. Poor Jessie. <laughs> Didn't have a sleeping pad. She made do, like a champ. Yeah, she is a champ. <laughs> <She's> a real <laughs> champ. <laughs> Jill was really rooting for us to go all the way today. <laughs> We're kind of disappointing kinda her a little out. bit. We're kind of wimping out. <laughs> She's pissed. <laughs> yeah. Feels good out there. Right. Put a little water in there, too. All right, one to ten. How's well, the breakfast skillet? It's the breakfast skillet. Not a 10. <laughs> it's above a 5. Let's see. I'm going to give it like a 7. seven. Oh, okay. I think I might have put just a tiny bit too much water. Uh -huh. A little soupy. Yeah. But, oh no, that's great. Mm -hmm. All right, well, this is going to the bathroom backwood style. Protocol is you want to dig at least six inches down into the soil. So I've got some snow to get through first. <laughs> but I always bring my potty purse with me. This has all the things I need. Um, there's toilet paper, um, a little trowel for digging. There's um, a double Ziploc bag with baking soda to pack out the toilet paper. Wet wipes, hand sanitizer, feminine stuff if you need it. So I never go in the backcountry without those things. Wow, nice and soft. I love it. All done. That feels much better. We're getting a late start again today. A little later than yesterday, it's like 10.40. Oh, Well, we made it back to the car uh, on our way to um, the main highway where we can get some cell phone reception and check to see if we can get into a hot spring at McMinimins in Bend. Fingers crossed. I think we could all use a really good long hot soak. Hot, 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 hot. <laughs> yes. Well, good news for us. We called Ben. They had one room left and we snagged that reservation. And they also accept dogs for an extra fee. So we're all good there. The pools are open until 10 o'clock tonight. Drive goes smooth, we should get there around 7.30 or so, so it gives us plenty of time for a nice long hot soak. And we can maybe have some nice dinner. Oh, this is good. This is really good. <laughs> Just what we needed after those long hikes, <laughs> the snow trudging through. 
Oh, it's so relaxing. Well, we just finished our lovely soak, and uh, it's just been a great uh, 48 hours. It's just been a blast. I wanted to thank you all for coming along on this adventure with us. Yeah, I hope to see you on the next one. Have a great evening, and thanks for joining along. Hope you have a wonderful night. <laughs> Cheers. Good night. <laughs>